Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop, where everything's made up and the instructions don't matter. Today is a very special day. You guys keep asking me, hey, Dan, what goes on outside of the maintenance shop? What do you actually do in that plant on the day to day? Well, me and my partner in crime hooked up a new job in a machine just this morning, and I had the chance to take a video of what's going on so you guys can actually see what goes on in the plant and how some of these things are made. Now, I'm gonna voice over this video because it's crazy loud out there, so you guys wouldn't hear me talking even if I was mic'd up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the blow molding process so you guys can see how plastic bottles and jugs are made. So what we're looking at here is a material blender for this machine. It'll come out of that blender, go up through all these vacuum pipes and find its way into this hopper on top of the extruder. That shroud covers all the belts for the gearbox that runs everything. So once the power is driven through that electric motor, it spins a screw inside of this barrel here. That is the sprocket that does all the work. Once the plastic goes through that screw and gets plasticized, it comes through the head here and comes out in the form of a parison that then we turn into a bottle. You're gonna see the mold open here in a second and reveal a newly finished jug. So that's the way this process works. See the mold close around another piece of parison, it gets cut and goes back down into the station to make more. Let's move around the front here so you can see head on how this works. So the head right there in the center of your screen with the plastic coming out of it, that's what we call the parison. It's a hollow tube that we then fill with air to make the jug. So there is a container being made inside of that mold right now. You'll see the mold open and then lift the part up just a little bit to release it and it gets caught by those arms on the side that take it out of the way. And then the next time the mold opens, it'll get dropped onto the conveyor belt so it can get sent out of the machine and checked for quality. This is just a little bit of an aerial view so you guys can see the head of the machine, the mixer, the extruder, everything that goes on on top. So whenever that blow mold comes down into the top of the mold, that blow pin, I'm sorry, that's what fills the jug with air and creates the neck, you know, like the part that the cap gets screwed onto. So the threads and everything is formed right inside of the mold. There is no post-processing required for this. And the bottle you're seeing being made here is a universal one gallon jug. So coming back down the front of the machine here, this is the controller that runs the entire machine. It's all touch screen. This is a more up-to-date control that we retrofitted several years ago. These are all the timers and everything that control the relays and solenoids inside the machine. And these are the heats for the barrel so you can control how much the plastic gets melted when and where it happens. And one last little look inside the machine to see what's going on. All right, guys, so we're back in the shop so I can explain to you a little bit better what you just saw. That machine is a continuous extrusion blow molding machine. When I say continuous extruder, that means the screw that's doing the plasticizing inside of that barrel, it runs nonstop. So it continuously extrudes plastic and then it's cut off at the top of the mold and that's what it allows it to be pulled away from the Paris and coming out. So this is a continuous process that never stops. As long as you feed that monster, she's pumping material out of the head. So this is also what's referred to as a shuttle type machine. So whenever you saw that mold closing, moving up to the parison, going down, that's what we're referring to as the shuttle. That clamp and that whole mold procedure, that is what a shuttle is. So over here, this is what that machine makes. This is a one gallon multi-use, whatever you need it for jug. So customers call, order this, they put whatever they want into it. And I was talking earlier about how they make the, how we make the threads inside of the mold and the blow pin that comes down and seals the top of this. Well, if you look here, those threads and everything on the top of this bottle are made inside of that mold. So this isn't something that gets done afterward. Whenever it comes out of the mold, all we do is rip off the chunk of what we call flash sitting on top, punch out this handle hole and it's ready to go. This gets tested to make sure that it doesn't leak goes through quality, and when everybody's happy, goes in a box into a truck. So hopefully you guys 
can understand a little bit better what's going on outside of the maintenance shop. And this gives you a little bit of peek into what goes on on my day to day. So if you guys are interested in stuff like this, hey, I think it's awesome. Before I started here, I didn't know much about plastic injection or blow molding for that fact. I just know about machines and I know how to fix them. And whenever you have that basic understanding of electrical, hydraulic, mechanical, whatever, you can pretty well fix anything. And these machines are no different than anything else you would run into. So if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, leave a comment, let me know. Until next time.